Thank you so much, Sarah. 630 now. A federal judge blocked a state law that would have restricted the concealed carry of a gun in certain sensitive places across the state. Those so-called sensitive places included parks, sporting venues, and educational institutions. But in yesterday's ruling, the U.S. District Judge said the provisions of the bill that were being challenged by gun rights groups unconstitutionally deprive concealed carry holders from their rights to carry handguns. Plaintiffs in the challenge included the California Rifle and the Pistol Association and the Gun Owners of America. Governor Gavin Newsom reacted, saying he believes the ruling, quote, defies common sense. But the decision is a victory for the California State Sheriff's Association, which called the proposal problematic in an official response to the DOJ. And in Humboldt County, Sheriff William Hansel shared his position too, saying, quote, in rural Northern California, CCW holders are not the citizens responsible for perpetrating gun crimes, end quote. Hansel says there are currently over 2,000 CCW holders in the county that have been proven to be responsible, law-abiding community members. And just for some perspective, to get a CCW there, here are the requirements already in place. You have to have good moral character, be a full full-time resident, be at least 21, own and have a gun registered in California, not have any open or pending criminal cases or pending criminal citations, not have any felony convictions or specified misdemeanors, not be on active probation, and be free from any psychological conditions that might make you unsuitable for carrying a gun. But the state attorney general, Rob Bonta, says he plans to appeal the federal judge's decision. He says in part, quote, if allowed to stand, the decision would endanger communities by allowing guns in places where families and children gather, end quote.